Alrighty, I'm kind of doing this intro a little bit late, but we are finally doing what a lot of you guys have been asking to see again, and that is go spearfishing at the rigs. What you're about to see is my first dive in almost over a year, and for the past week I've been recovering from typhus. I was in bed for a straight week, didn't really eat anything, and we think I actually got it from Florida a couple weeks ago. This afternoon was actually the first afternoon I'd felt better at all. It was crazy because this, the morning of, I did not feel good. And um, later in the afternoon, started feeling a little bit better. And um, yeah, we went out offshore and we we're really concerned about the visibility. All of the rigs, all the close rigs were super dirty. But we found one rig that was in a color change and about 70 foot of water and we do find some fish. So check this out. It's pretty insane. I'm so happy to be back diving. This is the first one of the year. I hope you guys like it. So we might be going offshore and I definitely should not be, I'm not supposed to be in the sun at all. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna give it a shot. Looks pretty nice out here. Five sixty. He came up and looked me straight in the eye. There's like multiple big ones. Shot him, bad shot. But um, first drop in over a year. It's about 45 feet, I think, 50 feet. I don't have my dive watch, it's dead, of course. Um, that's what we came out here for, not a good shot, but uh, I've been sick, guys.
throw them in the boat and I'll be right in the back of the water so I can spot you. I'm lucky to have hit this guy because I was not aiming whatsoever. It is choppy though, dude. It is a whitewash inside that rig. I lightened up on the power of my gun and put one wrap so I could just grab him. And that flopper was in his head, so I wasn't dealing with a bunch of line everywhere. Right now we're taking a lunch break. I got two good fish, they're in the box right here. And shoot, we've hit this one rig. This is like the one rig that is within the color change. All the other rigs back here, back there are in nasty, dirty water. Like we couldn't even dive that stuff. What was it, one foot? Or one, yeah, one foot of visibility, green. It's like, oh, why don't we try this rig out here, a little bit farther out. Lo and behold, hit a color change. Now the viz isn't great, it's still super cloudy, murky, but it's it's a lot better. We got we can see pretty good and um, yeah, we're seeing some jackfish. There's a big barracuda we may or may not shoot. Blake's gonna shoot it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. First dive in like a year. So we got that factor. I've been sick for a week, malnourished. And um, we got this fighting current, so we got we've got a lot of things stacked against me, but we got a good a few good fish here. I think I'm doing all right. I'm having fun, man. The juices might fly, and they already have. There's already bird poop all over the boat here. That, Let's go. That bait, that, he got that hammerhead on, was not down there very long. They tied up. He threw it out. Five minutes later, he hooked it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. When I got in the water. There's a boat tied up here. And uh, they put a bait in the water real quick. Instantly. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Like, what the hell? Long story short, they caught a nine foot hammerhead right here where we're diving, just now. I'll let you guys comment on that one. I mean, what do you do? We came out here to dive, that's what we're doing, so. It's just a big hammerhead, you know. No, I'm just kidding. We should be, we should be good. We're inside the rig, you know. And it's so murky anyway, it's not like we're gonna see it. <laughs> Some monsters. After I shot and in the middle of the rig I looked. Two digit big ones. Damn. <laughs> right in the dome piece, man. And to say this was not even close to the biggest one, I shot him, looked around after, and in the middle of the rig, 
the big ones were there. I'm gonna leave them there and go find Blake. some giants right in my face mocking me and I saw a red snapper. I already have three mangroves so I'm chilling maybe get another one but I just want to help them get a couple in here. so hard to keep him from tangling. He came up last second. Right before I was about to just... Oh. snapper and I freaking nailed him. It was quick too, dude. How far down? Bottom. Where's all your color at, dude? That's a mangrove. That's a mangrove. This is the fish I have been looking for. I've seen him a few times, I think. Or at least his brother. Dude. That's a good way to end it. That's what did I say when I came up? <laughs> Alright, so the, the last drop for me and Blake, we're going to be a great to head back in. And I, think, I think I made good worth of it. <laughs> biggest fish of the day, man. My biggest mangrove snapper ever. I've seen a few like this, but we couldn't connect. Uh, I went down there. It was definitely a fight to get down, dude. Current is ripping. Breathing up is hard. Get down there, I don't see anything. Look over, in the middle of the rig, there's some 
mangrove snapper and I think I actually see a red snapper so I kind of start making my way that way see a good shooter mangrove and then out of my corner of my eye my peripheral on the right side I see this freaking toad just come out and I'm just like oh my gosh that is the one and I lined up completely reached out my roller gun and uh shot him dude and uh, I fought hard to keep him from tangling up because I did not want to go back down there and uh, have to un un unwrap this deal. But uh, look at that pretty fish. I'm pumped, man. Let's get this guy on ice if he's going to fit with our other, uh, other stuff. Alright, baby. Got my big old mangrove snapper out here free diving 70 feet with typhus. Not a good idea. Dude, there's giant. We got some swells. They went over the back, damn, but look at this. <laughs> getting dark it's about 8 15 right now uh good day man it got a little rough coming back in and just while we are while we were out there it was pretty choppy windy all righty so we are actually back the boat is up and I gotta go vacuum seal some mangrove snapper in a minute. But before we do that, I just wanna kinda talk. Um, definitely felt the effects of not diving in like a year. And I most certainly felt the effects of being sick. I did not feel 100% out there. And you know, we were fighting current waves, stuff like that. So um, after like a dive or two, I was like, I was worn out, man. Like, so uh, yeah, we had definitely had to fight that today. Um, but despite all of that, it was really fun. I'm so glad we got out there. You guys have been asking where the spearfishing and diving videos are. So here is the first one of the year. Hopefully more to come soon. Um, and hopefully we can work to progress and get our diving, our dives um, back up there. So today they weren't great, but you know, I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed. They were, they were decent today. Um, with the given conditions and um, just still recovering like I had some bad stuff dude I've, I've been in a bed For a straight week and if you know me, I don't just sit in bed. So it was it was pretty rough um, But yeah, I got a lot of Whoa, I got a lot of meat to process. It's gonna be really good eats and um, It feels really good to be back diving. I didn't even feel good the morning of so I just kind of started to feel good mid-afternoon. I was like, well, webcam looks all right. I don't know if the vids are very good, but uh, we went out there and we made it happen. And I'm glad we did make the decision to, to go. So it was fun. Hopefully you guys liked it. And hopefully we can get out and do it again soon. So go leave a comment down below, like it, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.